Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and today we're going to be talking about that other mystery of the universe, the mystery about which we know even less than any other mystery. We're going to be talking about dark energy, and specifically we're actually going to talk about this new research that might provide at least one solution to one of the biggest problems we have, no less than public tension. But to start, what is this dark energy, and why do we even need this? Well, first of all, I guess it's so important to understand that dark energy was actually only discovered about 23 years ago, back in 1998. This was a huge and actually groundbreaking discovery based on the observations of the Earth's supernova around the universe. And one of the reasons why it was discovered in 98 and not before that is actually because we lacked the technology and the telescopes to observe all of this. And so during that decade, as the scientists started to look around the universe and notice different type 1 supernova happening really, really far away from that, Galaxy. And here we're talking about hundreds of millions of years away. They actually realized that the universe wasn't just expanding as we predicted, it was also accelerating its expansion. In other words, the expansion of the universe was going faster and faster and faster, dating farther back in time. And to try to explain this acceleration, the scientists had to come up with a new term. In this case, the term was dark energy. It was this energy of repulsion of everything across the universe. But because of the total volume of the universe, even though the total amount of this energy represents about 70% of everything in the universe, its total density is actually extremely low. For example, if you were to take a random dog somewhere in the universe, you would actually find a lot of different particles there, you would also find some dark matter, but you would find extremely low amounts of this dark matter. But because the universe is so large, and because there's basically a lot of volume to go through, overall, this energy ends up to be about 70% of everything. With some of the estimates varying a little bit. So here, about 27% is dark matter, about 5% is regular matter, which is basically the stuff we are made out of, and about 7% is dark energy. These numbers do vary a little bit from study to study, but overall they are usually about the same. And in case you were curious, about 12% of regular matter are atoms, 15% are photons, and about 10% are neutrinos. At least that's what it used to be like um, when the universe just started. At the same time, the uh, discovery of dark energy also allowed the scientists to finally reconcile the problem with the early Einstein uh, formula, which essentially had this term in it that Einstein threw away initially, but that actually explained the acceleration of the universe and essentially represented a kind of a constant in the universe. Mm -hmm. 